Hi guys, Brian Whiskey here. I'm Rika, and today we're going to do another top five. And today we're going to do the top five Karches by Lafroig. Every year since 2008, I believe, uh, Lafroig has released a bottle for the Fee of Isle and for Friends of Lafroig, and it's the Karches series. And I would like to do a top five. And this includes all of the Karches. I have tr I've tried all the Karches except the 30 year old. So it includes everyone except the 30 year old. That one I haven't tried yet, unfortunately. Um, so, on the number five spot, we have the Karches uh, 15 year old. Uh, it's uh, matured in ex bourbon cask and uh, yeah, matured for 15 years. The ABV is only 43%. It usually has a higher ABV. This one was, they released two cartridges that year. I don't remember which the other one was, so if it was the Amontillado or. Ah, you can see it up here and the year as well. Uh, I think this is an excellent dram. It's very smooth, very easy to drink. A uh, little low on the ABV. Uh, could uh, maybe picked up, picked it up at least to 46, 48 percent or something like that. Maybe it would be higher on my list. But the number five spot is the Karches, 15 year old. Okay, moving on to number four on my list. Uh, it has to be the. Let's see if I picked the right bowl. Yeah, the Madeira cask. Uh, it's with the ABV is a little bit higher, so you, yeah, you know, it's 51.6, so you get a little more touch. Uh, this one I think is uh, quite quite exceptional with the Madeira. You get all the heavy peat from the Lafroig and then you get some sweetness from the Madeira perfect combination so for the number four spot the Madeira okay and then on the spot number three uh, unfortunately I don't have that bottle it's the master edition Can pick yeah here somewhere uh, I think it was released in I, I won't say. <laughs> I put it up here instead. Okay. Uh, the Ma Monster Edition is uh, my number three on my top five list of uh, Lafroig Karches releases. Okay. Moving on to number two. And number two is quite recent one. Uh, it's the Fino. Fino cask finish. This one I think is absolutely amazing and the ABV is 51.8 as well as the Madeira, no 51.6 this one is 51.8 ABV and it's uh, finished in film casks and when I was at the distillery we tried it was the bottle I, I bottled for myself when I was at the distillery it was an eight year old phenol cask it was amazing stuff uh, this uh, S for the Madeira cast, this one, it's also the characteristics for the Lafroig, the peatness, the roughness, and then you have the sweetness from the Fino. It's... Wow. Okay, so, the number one, maybe you already figured it out because it stands right here. It's the 2013 release. Uh, it's the Portwood edition. Uh, so I don't know if it's a finish or it's a full maturation. Uh, no, it's a double maturation in bourbon and portwood gas to create an exceptional balance of our signature peat flavor. Okay, this one. Ooh, it's. Uh, I have this at 95 points on the hunger scale. I think this is absolutely fabulous. Um, 
Yeah, 95 points for this one. The Fiend I have on 93 points. Uh, the Master Edition I have at 92 points. The My Data 91 points. And this one uh, maybe 89 points. Something like that. So this one if you can get your hands on it. Unfortunately this one is not the uh, old ones are more expensive but this one is quite expensive because it, the most popular one on the new range but uh, so amazing I have to pour myself a dram a very small one but still oh you have the peat the smoke uh, the sweetness from the port hard to see the color for you but it's almost pink Oh, the peatiness, the smoke, is so well integrated with the with the spirit, uh, and then you have the sweetness and the, the peatiness and smokeness uh, lingers on for forever, <laughs> almost. Um, yeah. Oh, it's an amazing drum. La Frog has really killed it here. Looking forward to the 2020 release uh, because it's port again, uh, combination with the uh, wine barrels, I think it was. But uh, looking really forward to that one. Uh, I don't think uh, any of the cartridges releases are uh, bad at all. They're all very high quality. Uh, so you should definitely pick one up. Uh, at least of this, these three are amazing stuff. The, uh, the quite the Madeira and the Fino, I think, is uh, not so expensive if you get it on the secondary market. Okay, that's my top five cartridges releases. The number one, the Port 2013. Okay, till next time. Cheers.